Good day, Grade 12 learners. Um, welcome back. I am Chibuzura Aga from Amatole West. Um, I want to continue with this topic of tariffs, but specifically now we are looking at um, our parking tariff. I just want to give you a quick uh, outlook. Have you ever wondered when you enter into Hemingway's parking or this other Vincent parking lot and you get to understand that you have to pay for that space that you are using for parking. That is what exactly we call parking tariff, whereby you are paying for the service that you are going to be given there, that is for the space that you are going to park and for some, for the hours that you are parking your vehicle um, in. Now, I want us to look at the first one there where we're gonna have a, this is a specific a parking tariff of a certain mall in Cape Town where we have got the first thing that you, I want us to focus it. The first thing I want us to focus it now is just the, um, it's, it's the hours, the hours that we have there. For example, we have got zero to one hour, zero to one hour, uh, one to two hours, two to three hours, three to four hours, four to 12 hours, 12 hours to 24 hours, 24 hour plus. Then we have got packet, we have got shared excluding long stay or packet excluding a uh, packet excluding ground floor. That is P1 and P2. So if you pack there for zero to one hour, you're gonna be charged 18 rand. You're gonna be charged 18 rand. Then one hour to two, you're gonna be charged 42 rand. And it continues like that. For example, now if I look at 24 plus, on 24 plus, this is my focus. We are having now, thereafter, 105, 105 rand for every additional 12 hours every additional 12 hours or part thereof. We have got the term part thereof, which gives us an introduction to a, a parking tariff in this case. When we say part thereof there, we are saying, we, are mean, we mean to say that, in this case we are saying, we have got 105 rand for every additional 12 hours. Meaning to say that, remember you have parked this vehicle for more than 24 hours. So for 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours, you're gonna, the person is gonna pay 176. Then if we say this person is gonna park for 24 hours, then get into the next day for 12 hours, it's gonna be plus 105. Then after the 12 hours, the person uh, parked again for an hour or two hours it's gonna be another 105. Meaning to say that now, we're going to add this, this is the amount that is going to be paid in this context as far as the parking tariff is concerned. Now, looking at all this, this is the information that you want to study and, and, and look at that. We still have got information there in this case which is saying pickup zone, where we have got a zero to 30 minutes, no charge. Meaning to say that you are not, pay, you are not paying for anything, 31 minutes to 45, it's gonna be 18 rand. 45 to 60, it's 45 rand. Thereafter, 53 rand per hour or part thereof. Meaning to say that after 60 minutes, you're gonna pay how much? 53 uh, per hour, which means 53 rand in each and every hour or part thereof. That means each and every part or section that is more than an hour after that 60 minute it's gonna be regarded as an hour. So that is what we call part thereof. Now, I just want us to quickly go and look at the uh, specific um, question there as far as parking tariff is concerned. This is a question from our previous paper, um, which is where we are given a parking tariff. Number one, the first thing I want us to look at, this is parking tariffs. We have got hours in this case, then we're gonna have the rate. We're gonna have the rate. I want us to take note on the rate. The rate is not saying, I'm, I just want to flash back a little bit. 
and take me back to the water and the electricity tariff whereby you have got um, when you have that electricity tariff we were using what we call a sliding scale whereby it's going to be a rate per kilowatt hour or per kiloliter but in this context it's not saying five rand per hour it's saying five rand meaning to say that if you park your vehicle for 45 minutes how much are you going to pay five rand i'm not saying five rand multiply by i'm saying only five rand that's what you're going to pay then if you park your your vehicle for one hour to three hours you're going to pay an amount of 10 rand not 10 rand multiply by there is no multiplication in this context you are just going to be charged that 10 rand if you park your vehicle between those times let's say six plus hours that is more than six hours now it's going to be 45 rand you pay 45 rand for parking for seven hours or so then if you have lost your ticket how much are you going to be charged you're going to be charged 70 rand over there what about overnight 100 rand then that is the information that we use now no sliding scale in this context no sliding no sliding scale in this context we don't use the sliding scale please i want you to take note of that this tariff does not use the sliding scale it just uses in, in calculation we don't do much calculation we just have to take the amount that we take there for example zero to one it's going to be five rand now looking at the questions that we are given there i am totally touched about this one they define the term part thereof in the given in the given context so how do we basically define that as far as that is concerned i just want us to quickly go there and look at this one here we are going to look at the the rate will be paid per full one hour even if you spend less than one hour let me repeat that the rate will be paid per full one hour even if you spend less than one hour so that is what you're going to have there as far as the parking tariff is concerned but let me just go back a little bit where i'm going to look at the first question which i skipped prior um write down write down remember the word write down my great wealth learners it is actually an action verb which says or which asks you to just write down you don't need to do calculation write down the amount that a customer who spends 2.5 hours at the mall will pay 2.5 hours 2.5 hours is actually two hours and 30 minutes now where do you go you go back to the table you're gonna look where is two hours we have got this we've got this one here where we have got one hour to three hours so two hours 30 minutes is between one hour and three hours then you're gonna go to the right hand side you find the rate how much is that person going to pay it's gonna be 10 rand so that will be the the answer in this case 1.13 on a black friday special customers only have to pay 75 percent of the usual tariff so there's also black friday in our parking uh, in our malls as far as parking tariffs are concerned which is a good thing anyway it helps us to pay less for our parking tariffs on black friday as you know it will be one of the busiest days um, in the shopping malls now calculate the amount paid by a customer who spends 4.25 hours in the mall 4.25 hours in the mall so now we need to to quickly go there remember 4.25 hours where do 4.25 hours uh, gets into it actually is actually in this bracket which is four to five hours therefore we're gonna have that amount over there which is 20 rand and out of that 20 rand now we need to actually calculate what 75 percent of that so that we can get the answer as far as that one is concerned so it's going to be 75 percent of 20 then you're going to get how much 15 rand so you're going to pay 15 rand instead of what instead of the 20 rand on black friday which is a good thing that is much appreciated to our mall um, management now my great for planners i just want to quickly and briefly give you a probably a short summary as far as um, 
the other fundamental tariff which is called the banking is concerned. Here we have got a banking tariff which I had to link it with the parking tariff because of that part there of uh, freight which you need to understand the meaning of part thereof and how it operates. Now in this context here we have got all the way to who wants to open a bank account and decides to research various banks. Table one below shows the banking fees for different services offered to young people by four of South Africa's largest banks. We have got Bank A, we have Bank B, we have Bank C, and Bank D. Olo it wants to open a bank account, but she wants to choose which bank will suit her needs as far as her transactions and her daily living is concerned. Now, remember, using a bank, you're going to use it for withdrawals, depositing, uh, card purchases, online purchases, and everything like that. Now, what do we have there? We have got the description of what is happening there. For example, the first one is monthly fees. Bank A has got a monthly fee of 10 rand, and Bank B has got a monthly fee of... Um, 26 rand, bank C is 9 rand 99, and bank D is actually free. What do we mean by free? Free, it means you pay nothing. That's what free means, you pay nothing in this case. Now, if we look at withdrawal ATM, what does ATM mean? Automatic teller machine meaning to say that you are going to go to the ATM, you're gonna go out there, you do it by yourself, no one is gonna assist you. It's gonna be one rand at bank A, one rand per hundred rand. What does one rand per hundred rand mean? This means to say that each hundred rand you withdraw, you're gonna be charged one rand 90 cents. Meaning to say that if you withdraw 200 rand, you're gonna be charged, for example, one one rand, 90 cents, times what? Times two. Where do we get the two? We have got 200 rands in that, in 200 rand. So that is what we're gonna get over there. Then the next thing we have is bank B, you're not gonna be charged for withdrawal, withdrawal which is free. Then bank C, first 1,200 is free, meaning to say that for if you withdraw 1,250, you're gonna be charged nothing. Then after that, it's going to be one rand eighty-five cents per hundred, per hundred rand, or part thereof. Part thereof is coming again. What does that mean? Part thereof in this context, one rand eighty-five per hundred rand, or part thereof. Meaning to say that if you withdraw in this case a hundred rand, you're going to be charged that one rand eighty-five in this context of part thereof. In this context of of part thereof. You're gonna withdraw at 100 rand, then you'll be charged only 185 cents. Let's say now you withdraw 150 more, meaning to say that the 100 rand, they're gonna charge 185 cents. And part thereof, which is the fifth rand, is gonna be charged as a full 100 rand, meaning to say that it's gonna be charged another 1 rand 85 cents. That is the meaning of part thereof. Then bank D is gonna be seven rand. We go on to the next, which is withdrawal at bank counter. That's one rand 60. Then that's free over there. Then we have got two rand and another two rand over there. Withdraw at, pay at payment point, meaning to say that when you are withdrawing cash at the shop um, or at spa, at pick and pay, or whichever, whichever way, then you're gonna have to, to, to when you are withdraw, we call that withdraw at payment point. Now you withdraw, you withdraw three thousand rand. First three thousand is free, which means you're gonna, you're not gonna be charged for withdrawing three thousand rand. Then you're gonna be charged ninety five cents per hundred, per hundred rand after the three thousand. Bank B is free. 
bank c is one rank 85 cents per hundred rand bank d is first three thousand rand which is free then one rand per hundred rand then debit orders are free in all the four banks a bank statement a bank statement is free on bank a bank b one rand fifty cents bank c is going to be one rand twenty cents and bank d is going to be uh, one rand so that is what we have there i just want us to quickly look at the questions that we have as far as this banking tariff is concerned number one write down the cheapest bank based on monthly fees so basically now you are going to look at the table analyze it we have analyzed it we have studied it you know what is happening now you notice that with bank d there is actually free meaning to say that uh, that is the cheapest in this case then um i am very much interested in question 1.1.13 determine how much the banking fees will be if all it chooses bank c and withdraws 1600 from uh, the bank's atm so if we go back we are going to look at bank c we're going to look at bank c and as far as bank c is concerned we are going to specifically we are going to specifically look at we are going to specifically look at that and if we look at that we are going to notice that we have got the first we have got the first 1250 which is free then we have got um then 185 per hundred rand or part thereof that is what we're going to have in that case so that is the formula that we are going to use so after using that we are going to take the 1,600 that we are going to withdraw. We subtract the 1,250. Why? Because this is free. Then we are left with 350. And on 350, we divide that by 100 to check how many hundred runs do we have in that. And if we go back again, I want us to look at part thereof. We have got part thereof. So the 50 runs, the 50 runs, it's going to be regarded as a full 100 rand. That's why in this case, we have got 4. And we are going to multiply 185 cents, multiply by 4. Therefore, we're going to get 7 rand 40 cents, which is the amount that is going to be, to be paid in this context. Um, that is about the banking tariff, uh, my great co learners. Summarily, you need to understand that the banking tariff and the parking tariff, they do not use the sliding scale system. As far as the banking and the parking tariff are concerned, I want you, my great co learners, to understand that the phrase part thereof must be, the phrase part thereof must be your point of emphasis as far as this one is concerned. You must actually know and understand that as far as that one is concerned, part thereof is your major part where you really need to focus on and make sure that you master that in your calculations and know fully, remember the definition of a tariff. Remember, this is the topic which is part of our finance, our paper one. Conclusively, it um, has got a lot of marks and we don't know which a uh, tariff will be there. So my advice is, can you please master all the uh, all the tariffs that we have looked into, and also more, which is the the, the 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 transport tariffs and others. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.